Dear students, today I am going to deliver a lecture on introduction to security analysis. Let's start the topic with its meaning. Security analysis means analysis of the tradable financial instruments called securities. It deals with finding the proper value of individual securities. We have different kinds of securities like debenture, equity shares, bonds, stock. So investor while investing in securities should kept in mind two important things. First is what securities should be held and second is how much money should be allocated to each. As we know in stock market different kinds of securities are available. So it is the duty of the investor to, to decide what securities should be purchased. And second is allocation. Allocation here means for example if the investor has rupees 1 lakh with him how much amount investor would like to spend on equity shares or on debentures. So here kind of securities to be purchased and allocation of money to different securities is important decision in the hands of investors. So investors should analyze the individual securities then market of different securities and third is risk and return from each type of security. For example if investor want to invest in equity share so it is important for him to analyze different type of equity share then its market and then risk and return in different types of equity share with a view to identify undervalued securities for buying and overvalued securities for selling. It's important to know undervalued securities should be purchased and overvalued securities should be sold out. So let's have a look on its definition. Uh, we have its definition, uh, first definition is in traditional sense. In traditional sense, security analysis is the analysis of the fundamental value of the share and its forecast for the future through the calculation of its intrinsic worth of the share. And in modern sense, again, it is the analysis of the fundamental value of the share leading to its intrinsic worth. Second is risk and return analysis depending on the variability of the return. Third one is covariance. Covariance means how two assets move in relation to each other. Fourth one is safety of funds. Whether funds invested in different kinds of securities are safe or not. And fourth one is projection of the future returns. Projection means estimation of future returns means here a return means dividend or interest. Next is features of security analysis. So our first feature is analysis of securities to know its worth means it is concerned with analyzing the security to know whether they are valuable or not. Second one is projection of future price and dividend means projection means estimation of the future price and dividend of different securities. Third one is analysis of risk and return of different securities. Fourth one is to understand the behavior of the market and the security prices. Similarly, we have some objectives of security analysis. So our first objective is to estimate the risk and return related to the security. Second one is to identify the undervalued securities to buy or overvalued securities to sell. Third one is to forecast the future earnings and dividends along with the prices of the security. Fourth one is to analyze the prospects of the economy, industry and the company with a view to select the best possible security for the investment. And the fifth one is to analyze the stock market trends to understand the market pattern and behavior. And the last one is to find out the intrinsic value of the security with a view to take buy or sell decision. So our features and objectives are almost similar. Uh, next is approaches to security analysis. So our first approach is fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis includes study of various fundamental factors that affect the risk and return of the security. So fundamental approach is based on one assumption that is market price and the intrinsic value are different. Market price means price prevailing in the market and intrinsic value means the price which is justified the, by the fundamental factors. So both are different. It is our assumption. Here the criteria for selecting an investment criteria for selecting investment uh, is if intrinsic value is greater than market price better option is to buy those securities and if the intrinsic value is less than the market price 
it is better to sell those securities and if intrinsic value is equal to market price then there is no need to take any action so our fundamental approach is uh, includes three kinds of analysis first analysis is economic analysis so economic analysis means the analysis of the economy at macro level the performance of the economy in the past and how it is performing in the present and how it is expected to perform in the future second one is industry analysis so after conducting analysis of the economy analyst must look into various sector of the economy in terms of various industries so here it is important to know what is industry industry is a homogeneous group of companies the companies with similar characteristics can be divided into one industrial group and the third one is company analysis so in company analysis the main focus is on the relationship between the revenue and the expenses of the firm and the economic and industry changes company analysis includes further two kind of analysis first analysis is financial analysis and second one is non financial analysis so first we will talk about financial analysis financial analysis includes asset value earning value quantitative analysis and ratio analysis is also possible under financial analysis we can calculate different kind of ratios over here non financial analysis could be uh, data could be obtained by gathering and analyzing information about the companies published in the media in the stock exchange director annual reports and non financial analysis includes internal factors as well as external factors so our second analysis is technical analysis so technical analysis involves a study of market generated data like prices and volumes to determine the future direction of the price movement technical analysis analyzes the internal market data with the help of charts and graphs so it is important to know here how technical analyst analyzes the internal market data he analyzes the data with the help of charts and graph so technical analysis is uh, the way of evaluating securities by analyzing the statistics generated by the market activity such as past price and volume technical analysts do not attempt to measure the security intrinsic value but they use charts and tools to identify the pattern that can suggest the future activity so our technical analysis includes three assumptions first assumption is market discounts everything means it only considered price movement ignoring the fundamental factor of the company second assumption is price moves in trends means price movements are believed to be followed in trends this means that after a trend has been established the future price movement is more likely to be in the same direction as the trend than to be against it third one is history tends to repeat itself means the repetitive nature of price movement is attributed to market psychology and market participants tends to provide a consistent reaction to similar market stimuli over time so our third analysis is efficient market theory here analyst needs to understand efficient capital market and efficient market hypothesis so let's discuss what is efficient capital market efficient capital market is one in which the security prices adjust rapidly to the arrival of new information and therefore the current prices of the security reflects all the information about the security efficient capital market is based on certain assumptions so our first assumption is large number of profit maximizing participants analyze and value each securities independently second assumption is new information regarding securities comes to the market in random fashion and the timing of one announcement is independent of another and our third assumption is profit maximizing investors adjust secure security prices rapidly to reflect the effect of new information similarly we have efficient market hypothesis it includes further three kinds of hypothesis first hypo efficient market hypothesis is weak form emh so weak form em emh assumes that current stock price fully reflects all the security market information like rate of return like historical sequences of price trading volume data and other market re uh, market related information is also available second one is semi strong form emh so here the security prices adjust rapidly to the increase of to the release of the public information and currently security prices fully reflect all the public information like earning and dividend announcement price earning ratio like dividend payout ratio uh, like news about the uh, economy or the political news and the last one is strong form emh 
Here, the strong form EMH uh, contents that the stock price fully reflects all the information from the public and the private sources, and it extends both the weak form and the it. So it is the combination of this and this. It extends both the weak form and the semi-strong form of EMH. So here we come towards the end of this topic. Thank you. Enjoy learning. Keep asking.